This week in science, talking microorganisms. Now, it might not feel like it during a global pandemic, but viruses and bacteria are a natural and essential part of life on Earth. Now, they're not really good or bad from a scientific perspective. In fact, some of them can be very beneficial for humans. But there's still a lot we don't know about these invisible ecosystems of microbes that are all around us all the time. And that is what a global network of scientists is aiming to change. It's called Metasub. That's short for the very sciencey sounding Metagenomics and Metadesign of Subways and Urban Biomes Project. Catchy. Over three years, over 900 volunteers and scientists collected samples from transit systems in 60 cities worldwide. Now, Vancouver, Toronto did not make the list, but there's Berlin, Rio, Hong Kong, Seoul. Uh, the scientists just swabbed down high-touch surfaces like railings or benches and the subway and bus stations. This all happened pre-COVID-19, by the way. Over 4,700 samples were then sequenced and analyzed to create a kind of global microbial map. It shows that while some bacteria are consistent from city to city, each location also has its own unique set of microbes. It's like a fingerprint. The data here is so in-depth that if a scientist were to swab the bottom of your shoe, they could predict which of the 60 cities you lived in with fairly high accuracy. The researchers also found over 10,000 viruses and nearly 1,000 bacteria that appear to be brand new to science. Now, there is an awful lot of unknown viruses, but nobody freak out here. Uh, most appear to be harmless to humans, and just because they were detected doesn't mean they're active anymore. It does bear repeating that microorganisms can be beneficial to humans. You might have bought a product with probiotics in it. That's gut bacteria. It helps your health. And uh, viruses can be reprogrammed to fight diseases like cancer. So big picture, all this new data could be a stepping stone to learning more about what makes us sick and what makes us healthy. With This Week in Science on City News, I'm News 1130's Curtis Dorn.